Okay, this first clip is with the earbuds that came with my iPhone 4S with the long black cable plugged into the iPhone. And so this is the first test. The next test I'm going to do is going to be the same cable with the Rode SmartLav mic. Okay, this test is with the same six foot long, a little more than six foot long black cable with the Rode SmartLav mic. And that lav mic is right here. The other mic is right here as well. So that I've got both mics on me. The earbud mic is hidden right, right here. You can barely see it. And then, of course, the road right here that I'm talking on now. Okay, now I'm using one of the two of the shorter white cables plugged into the earbuds. So this is the test of one of the shorter cables. Okay, and this is, the, the, again, the cable's online, white cable. This is one of the, the it's around four foot long cable. And this one has a smaller plug on it. So this is the one that I showed you that will actually go through the case that I have with the uh, iPhone. So that's a benefit of this cable. Oh, and by the way, I'm talking now on the, uh, the SmartLav, the Rode SmartLav mic. This is the, one of the white cables. This is a shorter one. This is made by Lead Hill, also bought on Amazon. All these were bought on Amazon. So this is testing the, the shorter white cable. Again, this is the one with the bigger plug on it that doesn't fit through the case in the iPhone. And so I've been alternating between the uh, earbuds mic, built-in earbuds mic, which we all pretty much have with our iPhones, and the $60 Rode, what they call Smart Lav mic. Okay, my buddy Dan McDermott wanted this comparison. This is the adapter cable that Bruce Turner told us about that uh, allows us to plug in any XLR type microphone into our iPhone and I think it works on Android phones as well and so he wanted this comparison so this is a SM57 mic uh, going straight into the iPhone and um, I've been using these from time to time and it should sound pretty good. Okay, I'm rerunning the test with the adapter cable. For some reason, I got very low audio levels, and maybe I have to talk very close to the mic. I had said that in my previous review. Now I'm about, geez, three or four inches. I'm going to really get on top of the mic and see what a difference that makes. Okay, now I'm right on top of the mic, and again, we're using the adapter cable, and we're just rerunning this test to see what our audio sounds like with us right on top of the mic. Here we are about four inches away from the mic. And here we are probably seven or eight inches away from the mic. So again, we're just rerunning this test. Okay, this testing has really revealed some interesting things. By the way, this is the tripod with the glyph mount on it that you're seeing there. And there is the glyph. This is the glyph plus, they call it. And it's available for the iPhone 5, 5S. And it's got that extra piece that you can use to really secure it on the tripod even more secure than the normal glyph does. And it's a very secure mounting system. This is another reason to buy an iPhone over Android or any other phones is accessories like this are easy to, to buy and easy to find. And it's a great item. Just find it on um, Amazon. So once you've locked down your, your phone, of course, there's two things about video that are very important that most people miss is you don't want camera movement if you can avoid it and you want good audio. So those are the two most important things. So locking down your phone on a tripod or holding it as steady as you possibly can if you're hand holding and shooting the video. Most of these phones do have electronic or optical uh, image stabilization, so that certainly helps. But if you can lock down the camera, and you can see this is a very secure way to lock it down with the glyph, then you eliminate all camera movement. Now that assumes that the cable going to the mic is not pulling the camera around. So you might need to secure that to your tripod so that when people are pulling on it or whatever, it doesn't move the camera around. So I'm going to show a few different cable options. Here's one by StarTech, and this is about a six foot long cable or so, and it works great. Um, these cables have to be pushed in all the way. I learned that the hard way. If you get one that doesn't fit through your case, if you have a case on the phone, for example, and you didn't seat it all the way, then it's not going to work. 
also a tip, uh, and I don't know if this is valid or not, but some phones evidently it's best that you plug in the mic to the extension cable first and then plug the extension cable into the phone. Here we're looking at the Rode mic, which I'm becoming more and more convinced that this is the quick and easy solution for getting audio into your smartphone. This can plug direct into the smartphone or using the various extension cables that I'm demonstrating in this video. So it's very versatile, very lightweight. You can have it in the little pouch in your pocket, in your pants pocket, and it's going to work great for you. I think the audio is, is very good. Now, I also go over an even less expensive option, and that is just using the earbuds that come with your smartphone and just using them in conjunction with one of these extension cables, and then you get pretty good audio. Now, you might need to crank up the level a little bit in either iMovie or, or Final Cut Pro 10 or whatever uh, editing software you're using. You might need to play around with the levels a little bit. I found that the level on the Bose, uh, not Bose, on the Rode mic, I keep saying Bose, I don't know why I say that, but on the Rode SmartLav mic, that one, the levels are pretty good. You don't really have to do anything to them. But I found that the levels coming in using the uh, earbuds, uh, those levels were a little bit low. They need to be cranked up a little bit to compensate for that. And you'll notice that in the video in this video, the earlier samples, um, you, I'm sure, notice those level differences. And then the adapter cable, it came in very low, and, and I don't recall it being that low in the past. Uh, I know in the past I had to keep very close to the mic, but the levels seem even lower than normal. Maybe this is because I have an iPhone 5S. Maybe it's treating the levels different, but uh, that's an interesting thing that I discovered here. So the moral of the story is test and retest whatever you're going to be using in the field. Make sure it works for you. But there are ways to get good audio in and on the cheap. So take a look at these options and uh, share your comments. I'd like to hear how you get audio into your smartphone without spending a ton of money.